phone because I left, I don't know where my camera is because I'm moving um, and everything is just packed and like, I don't know where it is and we're on a very bumpy road and so this no, is probably, this is probably not the best camera quality and I apologize but I'm here with Lizzie. I don't even, Hi. I don't even know if this is going to be a video because it's like a very personal thing but today we, and you're okay with me sharing this yes, if I decide? Yes, of course I am. Okay. Um, today's a very personal day for us. We are going to go see our biological father, um, who, if you don't know, is currently in prison. Um, he, um, he did something not very good. He unalived someone, um, kind of on accident, kind of on, per it's murder in the second degree. Okay, guys. Um, anyways, but... We are gonna go visit him and let me just start from the beginning. I've, oh, this is so shaky um, cause I'm very anxious. Um, but basically in October of last year, I started watching Orange is the New Black, which is a fictional like woman's like minim minimum prison. Is that yeah. what it's called? Yeah. And, but basically in the show they talk about how like like when people don't they come to see them like it makes them really sad and they also go through like a lot of stuff in there um and it just made me like like i know that my dad was in prison and stuff um and we have contact with his side of the family but it just made me really think about him and so i talked to lizzie and i was like hey girl like would you want to visit him? Like, I was just going to send him a letter or something. And so I reached out to his sister, my aunt, and I based, and I was like, okay, so how do I, how could how I send him a letter? This? Yeah, I was like, how can I send him a letter or something? And she was like, well, actually, there's an app now, and all prisoners have these tablets, and you can message them on their tablets. And I was like, what? Anyway, so long story short, in October of 2022, Lizzie and I both downloaded the app, sent a message to our father, and um, we, yeah, we've just been talking. Got back in contact. Yeah, we got back in contact with him, and we've just been talking with him, and we both got background checks done so that we can um, go see him, and that's what we're doing today. How are you feeling? I am anxious and nervous. Yeah. I'm sorry I'm not looking at you. No, she's dri I'm she's driving. driving. She's driving. Um but I'm feeling very nervous, anxious, excited. Yeah. And I do think that I'm gonna cry. I yeah. think that our dad is gonna cry. I think you're gonna cry. I'm gonna try I was I was thinking about it and I was like, I probably am gonna cry, but I also deep down know that I shouldn't because I'm wearing mascara. So just girly things. Um, I think I'm just. I think I'm just gonna cry. I mean, well, you already have cried. Can I tell the story about how <laughs> we? Okay. So basically, we were told, and this is not. I've learned that this is not, in fact, true. Sorry, it's so bumpy. Um, but we were told that you can only make an appointment the week of when you want to, you know, visit. Um, and you can only visit on Saturdays. I'm pretty sure. Unless Saturdays and Sundays. Saturdays for and Sundays. Visitation. Yeah, for contact visitation. Um. So Lizzie came down Thursday, and you can, we were told you can only make an appointment on Thursday. So Lizzie came down Thursday without, she had called the prison four times, had gotten no answer, and- Left a voicemail every single time. Yeah, and she had gotten no answer, and so we were told that we had to make our appointment separate. Sorry, my finger was in the camera. And so when she got down to the valley, also she lives like how many hours away? Three hours. Three hours away. So when she got down to the valley to my house, um, I was like, okay, let me call. So I called, got no answer, but I left a voicemail. And so we didn't know if we, they were going to get back to us. So Lizzie started going online and seeing if you can make an appointment online. You can, or we thought you could. So she makes an appointment online. It says that it's scheduled. And then she gets an email saying that it's canceled. And Lizzie is bawling her eyes out because she, the whole reason she came down here was to go see our dad. So she's just very disappointed, very upset. And then she was like, it's okay. I can stay the whole next week till next Saturday in the Valley. And I was like, okay, girl. Um, but anyways, so I had to go to work. So I was driving on my way home from, I mean, on my way to work. And um, I don't answer the phone ever 
when I'm driving. I don't go on my phone because that's dangerous. Um, but my phone was connected to Bluetooth and I get a call and I was like, I was about to decline it because I'm trying to listen to music on the way to work. Um, but for some reason I answered it and it was the prison and they were getting back to me about my appointment. And I was like, okay, well, can my sister Elizabeth come? And they were like, yeah. So I called Lizzie immediately when I like got to work and I was like, literally we're going this Saturday. Woo -woo! So we were very excited. I was so she, excited. She stopped crying. Yes. So that's good. Um, but yeah, so it's been a very like emotion filled week already and so I don't know how I'm gonna do this yeah <laughs> I don't know it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting yeah I, mean, I called him he called me the other day and like we talked about well I was like so I called four times Lacey called once I never got a call back but um Lacey did <laughs> and yeah. he was like you made me worried and I was like that was the whole point yeah, because he's really, he's really excited to see us. Um, obviously, we can't film in the prison. Not going to do that. Um, but, yeah. So, I guess we're just going to show, like, before and afters. Like, and, like, tell you guys how it went, maybe, possibly. Is that what yeah, we're doing? I think so, maybe. Okay. Anyways, we're driving, and I'm going to sign off now. Because I'm very anxious, and my hands and are going to get more shaky. has my directions on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Got to go. Bye. Okay guys, so this whole thing has been actually like over a year in the making um, and I want to explain why I've chosen so long, like I've taken so long to choose to share this, um, but before I wanted to pick up right where we left off after that video, I'm actually wearing the same shirt that's completely an accident, I did not mean to do that, um, but um, the visit went really well when we first got there. Um, I don't know why, but in my brain, I thought that they were going to take us to a visitation center and transport the inmates there. Um, but we actually went inside the prison, which was terrifying. When we got there, um, search dogs, like we had to get out of the car and then um, officers came around and searched our car and search dogs searched our car. Um, and that kind of just, I think... In the beginning, I was like, oh, la, 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 we're going to visit our dad. Um, but I think that that kind of, like, solidified in my brain. Oh, my gosh, I'm out of prison right now. I don't know why that didn't hit me until they were searching our cars. And then we go into the prison. We go through metal detectors. We have to take our shoes off, all that stuff. It's kind of like TSA, like we're at the airport, um, but just a lot more serious. And then we go into a room. And our dad is sitting at a table and we have to sit across from him but before we do that we gave him a hug and there were vending machines and um, so we got him a whole bunch of snacks and soda and he hadn't had like a Dr. Pepper in like five years and so he was like the one thing I really want is a Dr. Pepper um, like a cold crisp Dr. Pepper and I was like I so just relate to that I'm a soda girly. I love soda. Um, so he drank like two of those, um, or two or three sodas. Um, and then it was really funny because he had to go to the bathroom, um, but they, they're they not allowed to like get up. Um, they have to wait for the officer to say, hey, like bathroom break. And so at the halfway mark, because the visit was four hours long, so at two hours, um, the officer was like, hey guys, bathroom break, whatever. And I swear... Like, my dad was the first to jump up and go to the bathroom. Like, he needed to go really bad. And Lizzie and I were cracking up about that um, during the visit. Like, while he was in the bathroom, we were like, oh my gosh, he has a small bladder, just like me, because I have a small bladder. I'm constantly needing to go to the bathroom. Anyway, so the visit went really well. We just talked about, like, our childhoods and things like that. We got his side of the story. Um, and it went really good. After we left, um, they didn't search our car, they looked under our car and then they had us pop our trunk. I thought that was interesting. Um, in retrospect, I guess people could escape that way through the trunk. Um, I don't know how they would do that because it's terrifying going in there and even terrifying coming out. Anyways, at the end of the visit we did get to hug him again which was really nice because um, I haven't seen him in I don't even know how many years, at least 10 at least 10 years, which is crazy. And on the way home, Lizzie and I just talked and we cried and we got McDonald's. Um, and it was such a good time and it was so good to like have somebody else there that experienced it as well. Like I don't think I could have gone by myself the first time to visit. 
Um, he's now been moved to a different part of the prison where during visits you can actually like walk around and like um, like walk around the yard and stuff with them um, and Lizzie has done that I have not um, I haven't gone back since um, but I do plan on going soon life has just been so crazy for me these past few months as you guys know um, I think I forgot to mention this was in like March of 2023 so um, at the beginning of the year and I mentioned um, the date like October 2022 and that was the time that we first started talking to him so like this has actually been like a year like over a year later since we first started talking to him and I chose not to share this um, for a while just because I wanted to see how it was actually gonna go like I feel like when you start a new relationship there's like the honeymoon period like you know what I mean and then things kind of get more serious and I feel like that's the same with like meeting a stranger and I don't say my dad is a stranger but you know he is you know what I mean and so I kind of wanted to see if he was um, being really nice at first and then like was gonna like use us for money and stuff um, which sucks to say but you have to like go into that kind of situation with a guarded heart um, and I just didn't want to be disappointed um, but after you know talking to him for a full year over a year um, I know that his intentions are really good and he really just wants us back into his life and so that's kind of why I'm choosing to share this now. Um, I am really scared that um, there's going to be a lot of judgment because what he, like his crime is a really serious crime and I, I know that that um, is a lot to forgive. Um, but this year, and even like our childhood stuff is a lot to forgive. Um, but this year for me has really just been all about forgiveness and turning over a new leaf. For a long time I was really just angry. Like I was such an angry person. I was angry at, you know, my biological parents, um, other people in my life, not in my life, situations, you know, I just held a lot of grudges and a lot of hatred in my heart and I think that that's what fueled my postpartum depression was all of that hatred. Um, and I kind of just learned that if I want to be happy, I have to let all of that go. Um, so that that's what this year has really been about for me is forgiveness. and. I'm choosing to share this now because if I, if somebody can watch this video and see that, you know, Lacey forgave her dad who was abusive and an alcoholic and a drug addict and literally killed someone, um, that, you know, maybe you could have it in your heart too to forgive someone in your life. And I'm not saying that you have to allow that person back into your life, but just to like let go. Um, of whatever is holding you back from being happy because that's how it was for me I just like to keep it real with you guys and I like for you to know how I'm doing and What's going on in my life and this was a really 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 big step for me um, and it's really really personal and You guys are like all my little besties and so I thought I'd share it with you and Yeah, but that is all for today's video um, I'll see you in the next one Bye.